I do not know how to make it work. We've got to switch out. There's what is it? Game or Quantas. Game or Quantas. Alright, game. Alright, let's switch around to game. Okay. Alright. And we we're starting off. Oh. Right, both names just you know sadly each other up and none of them taking a big advantage just yet. Thor's definitely no choice tuning and pace of play, but he does have his bombastic chances. Dust Orb is just no just bringing all the cannons, all the destruction, all destruction, not giving any time to think. He is the epitome of rush down. Galaxy, you don't get I am the overlay, I'm doing everything. I saw everything. Must win. Alright, both then he's throwing right, and it's even Steven. Come to while I fix this. Um can you come to while I fix this? What is Good! Jilly here on the mic. Top 32. Big lab 4. We got scores and Dark Stalker going into it. So far, looking pretty even. But that is Dark Stalker closing it out with the RP. Very, very standard stuff coming out from the Terry. And I, mean, I don't know how much these two have played. I'm gonna be honest. Scores is one of those people that's uh, floated around. Ooh, dear, you are almost dead. But uh, nothing. There's a BP up B, risky option, and Scores is taking a lot of uh, panic options out of this match, but they are catching Dark Stalker. Will Dark Stalker catch on? Here, trades going on. And the go meter, not quite in time. That wasn't auto cancelled, I don't think. The jab. Nice read with the jump there from Scores. Finally setting up that ledge trap. And Dark Stalker. And if he has a chance to power dunk, he's gonna power dunk. He may be asking the most important question. A question that everybody needs once in a while. Are you okay? Scores, like Scores is very okay. He just takes up the stock. Yeah, that's the thing. Scores is a very patient player and understands uh, player matchups really well. So when someone like Dark Stalker is playing, he knows all those special moves are gonna come out. Up the acting the aftermath. Yeah, Dark Stalker on a, a not so cuddly 52 while Dark on a Dark Stalker, while um, scores is on 144 and still living. Who needs not a heavy character, mind, mind you? Ooh, air dodging out of that. I think that was a missed confirm there from Dark Stalker. And nice job, Dark Stalker landing out of disadvantage, but scores still controlling the stage so nicely. Scores just catches. He's just catching on to his power dunk, you know, and every time he tries it, he's getting an up B straight out of it. Oh, and covers oh. it. Really nice stuff. That's nice bomb coverage. Dark Stalker could not find a way around these projectiles right now. Dark Stalker may be sweating this one. Okay. Oh, that is not what you want to do. Anytime you're shielding, anytime he's shielding, there will be an up B to punish it. Well, this is the thing. Yeah, Toon Link got very good out of shield options. For Dark Stalker is normally very good at pressuring shields. And so he, when he's coming up against an opponent that um, is willing to just sit in the shield for a little bit longer and then rip that up B, uh, it's costing him a lot. So he needs to mix up his shield pressure. I know he can do it. I've seen it before. He's got lots of mix up on, on shield. And even shield breaks up if you are waiting too long. I believe this is best of five, yeah. yeah we we'll best of five here. And this is game number two. Both of these players come come down from very top brackets, mind you. I see um, Joshua coming in from, from way B, and I think they're booking from game two. Yeah, there's, I think that's normally how it works. In winners, uh, pool play the certain person from your pool, but in losers, you just it up so you don't get double jeopardies. So far, Dark Talker looking a little bit better in this next game. Yeah, we've got scores at 125 percent. Scores yet to find the answer to get back on stage safely. Dark Stalker coming in with the 
relentless pressure of an all options. Except, well, except for um, roll. Yeah, he finally committed a little bit. He was waiting a roll distance for a long time. Really nice patience for scores to get around all of that pressure. And now he's got something going of his own. Okay. That's going to take out. Yeah, yeah. That's two demos are dead. Uh, but yeah, so far, like, I think scores has been respecting Eri on shield very well. But that is 50. Yeah. <laughs> That's Terry. That was all of an hour steel fair, I believe, as well. All right. Okay. The jab lock. Oh, that would have killed any normal character, but that hat that Terry's wearing is very heavy. Oh my days! I forget that has super armor. Just totally ignore the bomb. Yeah. I mean, that's why Dark Stalker likes it so much. And there is the other special move. The power guys are coming out. Completely different momentum from game one. This time, Dark Stalker has made use of his bow meter. But there we go. The Buster will punish on shield. He makes, he makes good use of the going meter, but he needs to be careful where he uses it. Okay. That's auto cancelled. Yeah, yeah you gotta be careful. You have no shield, you can't defend that. Just to be patient. I love this. Scores just taking advantage off the land. Making it very hard for Dark Stalker to get anything off. Not great awareness of where the boomerang was. I think most players would have just pulled or rolled away there. But it is still Dark Stalker holding down the ledge. Rolling versus Shoto's. Well, uh, I'm not saying a lot of fucking Terry and Shoto. But rolling versus auto Terry and our characters generally not advised just because they cover it automatically. There's not really a mix up there. All the boomerangs bailing out scores. Right. Uh, the up -bees get out of it again. Scores the king of the up -bees here. Yeah, well, I mean, Dark Stalker keeps hitting the shield. It's not like he's doing, like, kind of randy up -bees. Uh, just waiting for Dark Stalker to do an unsafe button, but speaking of unsafe, that scores high there, I believe. Scores was an unsafe one there, unfortunate. But right now is one apiece. Hey, Kitty, what dashes do you think needed for um, Dark Stalker to come through, and what dashes are needed for um, their scores? But I think, uh, I mean, the big thing we saw in game one that scores. Uh, got going was just shielding a lot and uh, waiting for Dark Stalker to uh, press too many buttons. Seems like he's figured it out a little bit, uh, not pressing so many buttons on the shield. Uh, but I think mostly the difference in that game too was the, the go meter. Like, just uh, when Brandon's allowed to get going and really push the limits with uh, that go, those special moves, it makes all the difference. So, uh, it's such a big thing in this matchup is taking early Dark Stalker to Terry. Oh, okay. Rakshu is very good at covering just ooh, above Terry. In there, making sure he will have a hard time recovering. Okay, back air. Wow. Yeah, back air is not a move you see very much, but that was pretty good there. That is a very long leg. Very talented. Back air. Okay, go. Try to get with the back air combo, but Dark Stalker ignoring it right then, right there. Okay, patient. Force is missing a few confirms and he's uh, he's getting reversed a lot, so he just needs to catch on to what Dark Stalker is doing in disadvantage. But the up B anti air, huge there for Dark Stalker. Right. Okay, that wouldn't have been terrifying. That was a little unfortunate. Dark Stalker definitely read that role, but just didn't get the carnage. Again, no awareness of the boomerang, and that's going to be confirmed for scores. I love the boomerang. If you, know, if you don't know when it's coming and it comes in to save your life, is that, when you, is that when you get bullied and then the teachers come through from the corner and like, what's going on here? Swoops in and the room rank perfectly confirms to an upper as well. I don't think a teacher could do that. They could probably confirm to a detention. Yeah. Dark Stalker definitely needs to watch out what he's saying in front of the teacher right now as Scores is getting it going. Yeah, going, Regan off going, it's go time. Dark Stalker's got go and he is the one of the best users of go I've ever seen. Oh, okay. Very, very brave up B, but it worked out that time. But Dark Stalker could catch on to that, mix up the pressure, and that could be a dead score. Okay, he's on the ledge. Power guys come around. But I think he just did it the wrong way. All right, Power Wave, trying to get him to jump. Basically getting him to jump. Oh, no, the shield break. This, you cannot just do it against Dark Stalker when he's got go. Because... That bloody um, power guy that knows how to just ruin shields. Yeah, this is the thing. Scores got very comfortable sitting in shield with the up out shield. 
pulls out that upbeat with a forward air, and we are down to a final stock situation. But yeah, he scores needs to be careful in shield. Like that, I mean, scores pain is fantastic. Not making it easy for Dark Force to do anything. Ooh, get up okay. attack being yeah. out the pressure. Dark right. is so tricky to track in this one. Always moving. Always pressing the button. He's one of the best button presses in the UK for some reason. Oh no, is that wow! That covered a lot. That covered the jump, that covered the neutral get up, and that covered the get up attack as well. That covered my home, that covered my car insurance, that just covered my life insurance. What was it? What was it not? It even covered my bloody computer. It was definitely going to need to think about uh, what? Well, just a little bit more respect for the power dunk, a little bit. Uh, less shielding in general. It worked out really well for him in game one. The Darkstalker has adapted his pressure. We've seen the shield breaks up. In, uh, the shield break, the shield pokes as well. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the best thing to do, and it's hard, easier said than done, but versus characters, uh, the FTC characters in particular, but any character like this with a lot of good shield pressure, it's just don't be forced into shield in the first place. Uh, play a very evasive game. Just move around a lot so it's hard to track you. So we'll see if Scores can implement that in this next game. Otherwise he will be dropping down into the loser's bracket. Good is not your friend against FTC Actually, if you want your worst enemies, keeps you mobile. No, it keeps you immobile. Because as soon as you're shielding, you're, you're playing their guessing game. And you don't want to be playing their guessing game. Keeping them out. Yeah, it's a big fast! You want to play? You want to play a game of? Am I going? You want to play a game of? Where am I going? Not how will I react to him? Oh, that is not a good bomb. Takes seven. Okay, get hit with a combo starter. Forty-seven percent. Yeah, again, Scores has been missing his combos, and it's turning into combos for Dark Storm, which is really not what you want to see. All right, down to two power jumps. Okay, you're. Oh no, you touch the ledge. What's the plan? The rare, the rare Terry Tomahawk. Good way. That's. I think we just. Oh, yeah. We lost a little bit of potion in the previous game. I like to see that coming back. And the up air pressure. Dark Joker just shut on the platform. Yeah. And yeah, this is nice pressure going from scores now. I don't think. Oh, it's down that pressure. Making him second guess himself. Couldn't recover him correctly. Getting hit by that bear, automatically taking away the first off. Okay, now Scores is hitting his combos just with that boomerang, but he's still going. Oh, Scores are easing out the pressure and maybe find the kill here. That will be enough. No SDI coming out from Scores. But still got a pretty healthy lead. Ooh. Oh, look at these lovely black combos. Still confirmed, like. Big up with the boom ring. Keeping Dostoffer on his toes. All right, we keep him in the air. You know what? Like a lot of characters, Terry has a lot of stuff getting down, but when he gets down, this is not what he wants. One overcommitment, and now Scores is in a very tricky situation. Terry has go meter, the bravest of get up attacks. Gets around that one. Oh, dude, look at that. That was a fantastic read. Yeah, Zare sets up for a lovely Teche situation. Oh, oh I see. I see scores. He's been trying that out a lot. Okay, her guys up. This is not where you want to go. Damn it! Yeah, scores recognized the situation, dropped shield, but didn't know what to do. You have to roll. If you know the power guys is coming, you have to roll. What's four thoughts? But rolling will give you more iframes, so it's kind of the safer. Right? But it's still the problem. Somehow scores needs to check out the stock. And Terry's got go meter. I'm rage. Come now, he's coming out everywhere, man. He is at one ninety percent though. So if scores can find this kill. Oh no, that's uh, not what you want! He gets six feet and he's right next to the blast! Oh my day! That's not gonna kill Shirley. Oh no, uh, but you're too linked, you might not make it back. You do just about scores needs to get a kill oh, right no. now. And that's the game. It is what it is. Darkstalk's consistent pressure kept him down. He was stuck he was off very well. First stop, second stop, fantastically played. But he couldn't take out the second stop at all and he just got wrecked for it. Darkstalker in a fantasy with Go. One of the scariest thing known to man.